Hello, welcome everybody, right, to another Facebook Friday. It's Frilly Cheap Friday, the end of April. Really? Can you guys believe it? It feels like spring, summer around here too in Michigan. It's very, very exciting. Very happy about that. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day and we are ready to play in my craft room and have some fun too. Today we are featuring, this is such a cute stamp set. This is the Filled with Fun stamp set and it is truly filled with fun. So let's see, my favorite part actually is the dies. I'm going to show you those in just a sec but you can make this cute little um so I'm gonna be like blanking out on all my words today because I've been running around like a crazy person trying to get ready for our trip to Mexico too sorry I'm totally like jumping off track already but we have the Stampin' Up! incentive trip coming up on Monday and so I've been trying to get everything together so staying up late working really hard and now my brain is like a little bit fried so this is a cute little wagon that's what this is called so there let's get the glare out of there right so they've got the fun little handles for your wagon some cute wheels and then some fun stuff that you can fill your wagon with fun right so we've got the cute little kind of a birthday or celebration and then some fun little flowers the little um kind of banner there also and we've got sentiments like you make my heart bloom uh, celebrating someone special and sending loads of happiness so but let me show you because I think even more so my most favorite part about this bundle is the set of dies so you can see here right so here's the stamp set here are the dies so for example this little guy right here with the banner hello Miss Carla is this die right here this and it's actually upside down but this is a little wheelbarrow and it it makes um, it, it cuts, so it die cuts and it embosses, so it looks like it's a wood grain. So stinking cute. I love, that's my favorite part. So we're going to play with that a couple times on the cards that I made. This is the little die cut for the flowers. Um, obviously, that's a heart, some balloons, a little handle, the banner, and then these are for the wheels. And then where are the other... Now I'm like, oh yeah, right here. <laughs> the little inside of the wheels. All of a sudden I'm like, oh no, did I lose them already? So, such a cute bundle. Stamp set filled with fun. Dies filled with fun. You can buy the stamp set. You can buy the dies separately. Or you can buy them in the bundle and get your 10% savings. These are not found in any catalog. They are part of our online exclusive. So I'm using those more and more and more because they keep coming out with so many cute things that we have to have and play with that are only available online. So you're not going to find them in the catalog. No big deal. Just go to stampinup.com. Um, I think if you click on it's not like, well, shop, first of all, and then what's new and then you'll see or um, I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, but you're going to see a section that says online exclusive. So Anything that you won't find in the catalogs, you'll find right there in online exclusives, okay? Um, so let's see what else, what else? Oh, yes, last five days of our last chance lists, right? So we've got these two great lists from our mini catalog, spring mini catalog, and our annual catalog. Lots and lots of good stuff is retiring. Some things in terms of bundles are retiring, but stamp sets and dies will still be available. But you might as well get the bundle if you are interested because you get your 10% savings. Also, lots, uh, well, I shouldn't say lots, but prices are going up. So pretty significantly, um, I want to say, and I'm trying to remember for sure, but cardstock packs, like individual colors are $10 right now, and they're going up to $11.50. So that's a pretty significant price increase. So something to think about, maybe, you know, stock up on your cardstock right now, um, because it's the prices are going to go up, right? Ink refills were another one that I noticed. Oh, and then the Stampin' Blends are also going up too. So Again, starting May 1st, all those prices are going to go up. So shop now. You have five days left, right? Because we're on the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. Yeah, 30. So five days left in April to get the old prices. Then May 1st, the new prices start. And then also get those last chance products out of those catalogs that are retiring on next Tuesday, April 30th. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it's the end of April already, right? Isn't that nuts? Then, oops, and I did not bring it over. So I've got to grab. Hello, Miss Vina. One quick step. Um, I want to grab my <clears throat> annual catalog, my new annual catalog. Here we go. Yes. So <laughs> there we go. So our new annual catalog goes live then on Wednesday, May 1st. 
Can't even believe this. So the crazy thing is, and I know there's been lots of buzz about it, but while we are on the incentive trip in Mexico, this catalog goes live. So not the greatest time to be out of the country, um, but I'm sure you guys will all be able to get right online to stampitup.com and start your shopping. If you have any problems, email me. So my email address, amy.ferlici at yahoo.com. I will be checking that regularly. That's going to be the best way to get in touch with me. Um, also, if you're having a problem ordering, you can call Stampin' Up. So 1-800-STAMP-UP is another thing that you can do if you're having any problems ordering online. I know usually May 1st, um, so as demonstrators, we've been only able to, you're welcome, Vina, I'm glad you received your catalog. Um, we've only been able to order certain things out of the annual catalog. So lots and lots of demonstrators are going to be getting online on May 1st to put their order in because now we can order everything out of this catalog and so can you. Um, so just keep that in mind. Sometimes the system is a little bit futzy on the first day or two of a big new catalog launch like this. So have patience um, and just enjoy your shopping experience. Hello, Mike. How are you? Can't wait to see you this afternoon. We are, Mike and I are heading He's going to come with me to Mexico. So I've been, like I said, packing, running around, trying to get everything done. So we are all ready for this most amazing trip. And I will be posting right here on our Facebook group. I'll be sharing pictures of all the fun that we're having in Mexico as well. So here as I'm still holding up this catalog. Um, but yeah, super excited because there's so much cute. I have a whole wish list. I'm planning to put an order in. So for example, while we are on this trip, I will still be working. I'm going to be putting my first order order in. So for the designer series paper share, if you're interested and the in color club on May 1st, I'm putting those orders in. So let me know. You can put a comment right here if you're interested in. So let me tell you about that. So designer series paper share, you get a quarter of a pack of all of the new papers in our annual catalog. It is $45 for that quarter of a pack of all of those papers. Your, um, you'll also get, did it, where did I not even, you are going to, I didn't even put that on here, but I'm sure I did in my email. Now I'm like, yeah, questioning myself, but you're going to get a sample of the in color designer series paper too, for free with your paper share. Okay. So just kind of know that if you're interested, again, a quarter of a pack of all of the papers in the annual catalog, along with a free sample of our in color, you can see my pretty ribbon back here, right? So those are all, all of our new in colors. Um, yeah, so not the ribbon, but you'll get a um, sample of the designer series paper, the in color DSP as well. So $45, if you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. And then as well, we have the in color club. Okay, so if you're interested in getting, <clears throat> well here, I'll flash this up. Trisha, hello and welcome. We've got some pretty new colors coming. So these are new colors that will be premiering next Wednesday, May 1st. We have peach pie, petunia pop. This is my favorite. I think I think I have a dress that I just got in this color. Pretty in pink, um, shy shamrock and summer splash. So these are all Teresa. Hello and welcome. So beautiful colors. If you want to see them a little bit bigger, I can show you. Let's kind of spread this out. We'll give you a little bit more of a flash of our colors. Okay, so our new in colors here, I'm going to trying to get these spread out here so you guys can see them a little bit better. Okay, so again, here are all of our new in colors. So for example, in color club, you will get all of the products in each of these colors over five months. So say for example, first month, you're gonna get Summer Splash, next Petunia Pop, next month Peach Pie, next month Pretty in Pink, and next month Shy Shamrock. What are you going to get in that In Color Club? A ton of stuff. So you're gonna get a full pack of cardstock, the ink pad, the ink refill, the full bolt of the ribbon right back here, examples, the stamp and write marker, the blends, the designer series paper in that color. It is $60 per month to get each of these beautiful new in colors, right? All of those products. One month you are the host and you get $20 in free product. You can pick whatever you want, except 12 by 12 DSP designer series paper, just because it doesn't fit in the packaging. It would cost extra for um, shipping. Well, I guess if you're local, you can get 12 by 12 paper because I'm not shipping. But if you're long distance, it is an additional $10 per month for the priority mail shipping. Um, and then, like I said, one month you get $20 in free host benefits. And then you also get the in color gems and they are so sparkly and beautiful. I love those things. 
So again, if you're interested, let me know. I will include the link above this video this afternoon, and then also you can comment right in here if you are interested in the In Color Club or getting into the Designer Series Paper Share. I've got room for you. Again, first order is going in May 1st. The sooner you let me know, the sooner I make sure that you're included on my list, okay? So keep that in mind. All right. Now I gotta organize my table a little bit here because I'm a little bit overwhelmed by all of the things I wanna show you guys and tell you about. Okay, <clears throat> okay, we did that, we did that. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I have a little frog in my throat. Okay, yep, let's see, we are gonna go ahead, let's do our first drawing. Where is, oh, my little, okay, hold on, I gotta grab it. <laughs> I left it over on my desk, way over here. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna do our first drawing. Your name is in here. How do you get your name in here, right? If you shared the last Facebook Live video, five entries if you share it to a paper crafting group that you're a part of, I love for you to do that. Not an individual one, like a demonstrator kind of owned group, but you know there are lots of other paper crafting groups that are kind of um, big open groups. So share, please. I would love to get the word out. I am I am struggling a little bit trying to find um, new friends that want to come hang out with us on Facebook Live. So I would love and truly appreciate your help in sharing this. This video. If you enjoy it, I bet others will too. So share away and let them know, right, that we're having lots of fun here on Fridays at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. Okay, so again, share the video. Your name is in here. Um, how else? Oh, I pick one random post from our Facebook group. If you commented on that post, your name is in here. If you sign up for my email list, and if you post a picture of a project that you've made right here to our Facebook group, what are we going to give away? We are going to give away, these are the super cute, the ombre matte decorative dots are what we're going to give away today on Facebook Live. Okay, all right, so one lucky winner will receive those cute dots. So many cute dots. We have lots and lots of dots. Because uh, you'll see in a sec, I'm going to show you what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. Okay, let's see. I feel, whenever I feel like things kind of stuck together, I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta separate them out. So everybody has a fair chance. I'm all about fair and honest, right? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. One, no, three. <laughs> I feel like I had like three in my hand. Okay, now I only have one in my hand. All right, ha <laughs> ha, Miss Philomena, congratulations. You are the winner of these ombre matte decorative dots. So I will get those sent out to you, Miss Philomena. Thank you so much for your share of the video and for continually participating, watching, um, and enjoying this video too each Friday that we do this. Okay, so... On our next Facebook Live, which is actually, it's not going to be for three weeks, you guys, um, which I don't even, I'm like trying to look at my calendar and I can't, I'm in April. So whatever the, <laughs> um, could I figure it out? I don't feel like I can. Anyway, so for the next two weeks, I'm off. So whatever <laughs> three weeks from today is, that's when we'll be back live for the next Facebook Live. So I know it's going to feel like a while, but you guys are going to have lots and lots of fun um, playing with hopefully um, new product from the new annual catalog. Um, yeah, because we're going to be on the incentive trip and it kind of puts me back um, time-wise. And then I've got my other job that I got to get back into having been gone for a whole week. Um, things are just going to be kind of crazy for a little bit. So I will be back here live three weeks from today and we will give away, these are the rainbow adhesive backed dots. So they look pretty similar, right? But they are, ah, thank you, Robin. I didn't even see you were on here. Yes, that sounds right. May 17th. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> thank you. I'm like, if I had if I had my phone, which is, I'm like talking at it right now, so I can't really get on there, then I could look at my calendar too. Yes, thank you. Okay, so yes, May 17th, we will be giving away the rainbow dots. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so again, share this video right here uh, to your personal page, to a crafting group you're a part of. Sign up for my email list if you haven't done that already. Best way for me to keep you informed on what is going on is through my email list, right? Or this Facebook group too. Try to post as many updates on here as I can. Share a project right here to our Facebook group. Your name will go in the drawing to win these. Um, and what else? Oh, comment, 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 comment. Like and comment the posts. And one random post um, I pick. And anybody that comments on that post, your name will go in that drawing also. Okay? All right. So blah, 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 blah. I feel like 
you know, I because <laughs> I am kind of bouncing off the walls because, oh my gosh, I'm really, really excited about this trip to Mexico. Um, this this resort, Stampin' Up! kind of like hit it out of the park. I can tell already. It's just going to be a most beautiful, amazing experience. Um, there's lots and lots to do. Like you're almost to the point of we need to stay longer because there's so much to do at this resort. And then there are parks that are kind of a part of the resort. So you can go off to these parks and um, explore and have fun. Um, so yeah, hello, Miss Rosa. Welcome, welcome. So glad you could join us. So yeah, I'm definitely bouncing off the walls about all of that. So um, okay, try to focus. Let me focus back on here. Okay, so yeah, you guys want to know about we have another starter kit deal coming. So May 1st, again, a little bit of a crazy time um, to do a starter kit deal while we're many of us are away on this incentive trip. But um, I can help you from long distance, or if you, um, you can always call Stampin' Up, 1-800-STAMP-UP. One sec, I need a sip of water. I'm talking way too much already. <laughs> mm. Okay, <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. But yes, great starter kit deal. Again, starting on Wednesday, May 1st. Again, it features our new in colors. You guys, the colors are just gorgeous. So what are you gonna get in this starter kit deal? In addition to picking $125 in product, this is anything you want out of our brand new annual catalog and then also out of our online exclusive. So that cute little feel filled with fun bundle that I'm gonna show you guys in just a little bit, you could order that bundle in your starter kit too. So in addition to whatever you pick for $125 in product, you get all of the new in color ink pads, so all five of those colors. You get a pack of um, card stocks, so you get that assorted pack of all five new in colors. You get a full package of our in color designer series paper, and you get all five of the in color marker. So that's all in addition to picking $125, whatever you want. So amazing deal, right? So then what do you pay? Only $99 plus sales tax, the shipping fee, which is 11% these days. It's pretty steep. Um, yeah, so that is waived also. So tons, like what a great deal, tons and tons of fun stuff in that starter kit deal. So if you're interested, or if you're already a member of our Inspired Stampers team, and you know others that you think would like to join, let them know, pull them pull them into our amazing group of crafters and friends and like-minded, um, crazy kooky people who love to um, buy Stampin' Up! stuff, organize Stampin' Up! stuff, play with Stampin' Up! stuff, make cute stuff with Stampin' Up! products. So we would love to have you be a part of our Inspired Stampers team. I know I say this regularly, but we are, I think, an awesome group of ladies. I want to show you guys, we actually had our team meeting last week, and we do lots of fun stuff at our team meeting separate Facebook group that you would be a part of if you buy the starter kit through me or any of my Inspired Stampers team members. Um, let's see, you can become a part of that group. We do Facebook Live meetings. So they're team meetings we do locally right here in Alma. But if you're long distance, don't worry, you can still definitely be a part of things. We do make and takes at our team meetings. I prepare the make and takes, get our kits together and mail them out to people that are long distance. We also do swapping through our team meetings. You can participate long distance in that as well. Hello, Pinky. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, so if you would like to swap, you can participate in our team swap. You make your swaps, mail them to me. I swap them out with everybody at our meeting and mail them back to you at no charge. Um, let's see, what else do we do? Oh, cute little mystery project every month at our team meeting. So let me show you guys these things, right? So first of all, these were our make and takes at our team meeting. So we featured the new in colors. So simple, cute, simple cards um, that I wanted because I basically just want to show our new colors. So here's an example again of the designer series paper, the ribbon and the in color gems. This one is Summer Splash. Then we did this one, again, my favorite, Petunia Pop, such a cute one, right? Again, different um, patterns in the designer series paper, more ribbon and gems. This is Peach Pie with the DSP ribbon and gems, pretty in pink, more paper, ribbon, and gems. And then finally, we have Summer Splash. So beautiful cards. Those are something that you could make regularly <coughs> with us if you decide to get the starter kit. 
through myself or one of our team members. Also, this was our, I need another sip of water. Mm. I see a mint over here. I'm like, I think I'm gonna need that today. This was our mystery project. So isn't this so beautiful? So this is some of the new Unbounded Beauty Designer Series paper. Some of my favorite Petunia Pop ribbon. And then this is the Unbounded Love um pinky from georgia hello welcome welcome i'm so glad you can join us from georgia miss pinky um so i think this is called unbounded love the stamp set and the dies and then that little leaf is from there too so the idea behind the uh, mystery project is that um, i basically post all of the measurements for the card that i'm going to make but i don't actually show you the card so it's kind of a mystery you cut and kind of prepare all of your cardstock and so on and then you put your card to Together with me while I do mine at our team meeting. So this is, again, what we made this month. And then what's so fun is to kind of see what other people were kind of had in their mind of like what the mystery card was going to be, putting it together. And then we share these on our Facebook group also. And then the swapping. All right. So let me show you. These are beautiful swap cards. So this one was from Sharon Greening and she made it. She made this little ice cream cone card in all of our current in colors that are still going to be around for another year. This was a beautiful one that let's see. Elsie Lynch made this one. Look at all the beautiful coloring sponging that she did on that one. This is Nancy Gulick's swap card. Isn't that beautiful? And then she put some more paper on the inside too. Um, she also, nope, this was Susie, I think, made this one. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, this one was from Sunday Ostrander. Love all the stamping of the balloons on that one too, Miss Sunday. This is another super cute one. Chelsea, or excuse me, Charlene, um, created this card. This is another one of our online exclusives, that Latte Love. There's a stamp set and some designer series paper. Super duper cute, right? Can you, uh, can you imagine? I don't know how they make those little like designs in the latte, but I think it's so darn cute. And then this one is from Miss Susie Meekumber. Super duper cute as well, right? With some fun, bright colors. Susie actually also did a demonstration at our team meeting, and this was so fun. She showed us there's a paper clip inside here, so you can use this like so it's kind of like DSP covered, um, covering a paper clip. So it's kind of like a, a pretty like little way to use a paper clip, right? And then this one is Miss Teresa who is watching. I think I showed this on our last Facebook Live because I just thought it was so pretty. Just the bright, crisp white with the papa color. And then Carla, I think you made this one. I don't have a name on the back, but I'm pretty sure based on everyone else's swaps, I'm pretty sure that this one is from Miss Carla Dilly who is watching right now with that beautiful um, daisy bundle that we have that is still available. So beautiful swaps. So you guys get the idea. Make and takes, mystery projects, swaps, lots and lots of fun, and just being a part of our group. Plus, you get a 20% discount on everything that you order after you get the starter kit. So for me, I think it's a total no-brainer. So if you're interested, um, have any questions, let me know. I'd love to answer your questions, help get you set up with your starter kit and become a part of our fabulous team. All May, that whole starter kit deal is available the whole month of May. So starting on Wednesday, May 1st through May 31st, okay? All right, let's see. We are going to just scoot these things. I'm trying to be organized here over these. Okay. So let's see. We talked about that and that and that. It's very difficult. Well, it's not that difficult to stay organized, right? But yeah, there's just a lot going on. Oh, okay. So actually, I would like to give a warm welcome to Miss Elizabeth Schwind, who bought the starter kit in April. And actually, I believe that she is one of our close to my heart friends. So you guys have all kind of heard about close to my heart that they're going to be um, closing. And so Stampin' Up! has very warmly welcomed in um, any I think their term is makers, so close to my heart makers can become Stampin' Up! team members, um, and they actually get to come in at kind of a little bit elevated level within our um, promotion system. Um, so that's why I haven't actually talked to Elizabeth, but she came in under one of my team members. Miss Jen Ledley welcomed her, Miss Elizabeth, into her team, and so becomes a part of our Inspired Stampers team as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm about positive because of the level that she came over at that um, she is from close to my heart. So we're very happy to have Miss Elizabeth
Elizabeth join our team and become a part of our Inkspired Stampers group. So congratulations on getting that starter kit. Awesome kind of uh, modified starter kit deal for Close to My Heart Makers. Um, and then we have Miss Stacy Decker who promoted, she became a qualified team member. Um, she just bought the starter kit back during our last starter kit deal during Celebration. She already has $900 in sales, so she becomes a qualified team member. She received a $25 shopping spree for me. And because she did it so quickly through Stampin' Up, she reaches the first quick start level and gets a $50 product credit from Stampin' Up as well. So quick start basically... Um, they don't count the partial month that you start in. So she started in January. She had February, March, and April to have uh, $900 in sales, which she did. So she reached that first quick start level. If she gets to $1,800 in her first full six months, so February, March, April, May, June, July, by the end of July, if she gets to $1,800 in sales, she'll promote to Bronze Elite, get a 25% discount instead of a 20% discount, a $50 shopping spree from me, a cute little charm necklace, and she also gets a $100 product credit from Stampin' Up. So great way to um, dive right in and start getting awesome benefits um, very quickly if you can reach those quick start levels as well. So congratulations to Miss Stacy and welcome to Elizabeth to our team. Very good stuff. We, I'm hoping and will be very excited to announce some new team members on our next Facebook Live if you decide to get the starter kit through us as well. So again, let me know if you have any questions on that. Okay, so I think, I'm looking around here, we are almost at the point to turn the cameras down. I actually, so crazy guys, for two weeks I didn't have any online orders. So I was going to give away that planted paradise stamp set, but I don't have any orders to put in my little basket names, I guess names for orders. So we're going to skip that part, but I will tell you, so between now and May 17th, thank you, Miss Robin, if you put an online order in through me, you are going to get the chance to win. This is one of my most favorite stamp sets. So this is called the Country flowers stamp set it's available in our new annual catalog so in good sentiments too so we've got with heartfelt sympathy this is a cute little um flower market like if you want to make something that looks like it's from the flower market we've got best friend ever with the little periods in, in between uh sending love and so lucky to know you Sorry, that glare. It's because it's so sunny and beautiful that we have lots of glare. So I want to show you guys, though, because I received a number of swaps. And then actually, this was the stamp set that um, Stacy and I played with at on stage. Um, and so I want to show you here. I'll show you those cards first. I showed them, I think, a few weeks ago. But these were cards that we made at on stage, again, featuring the Country Flower stamp set. So I want to show you how pretty this is. And we also... Um, features some of our new ink colors. That was the other point, right? So those three beautiful cards and then these swap cards that I think all feature um, some of that Country Woods designer series paper too. So isn't that so pretty? So again, you guys can kind of see like here's the stamp set and then there's another swap card, that little best friend ever, right? And then here is one more. So isn't that beautiful, right? So all of these cards are made from this stamp set and the coordinating dies that go with that country flower stamp set. So you could win this stamp set. I'm gonna give you a new host code. Um, I'll show you that when we flip the camera down, but order through me and your name will go in the drawing to win this stamp set. You also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which features this beautiful card. This is my project. Hi, Angie, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you can join us. So yes, you can, again, pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, or this is our free embellishment for the rest of April, the Pretty Peacock and Petal Pink Foiled Gems. We'll have a new um, embellishment for May, which are, they are like a basic gray and smoky slate, I think, pearls. They are beautiful, beautiful pack of pearls. Um, that'll be our free embellishment that you could pick in May, okay? So, all right. Um, let's turn your heads away after I clean this off a bit. <laughs> okay. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So yeah, we talked about everything. All right. I'm feeling good, ladies, actually. Yeah, we're doing a good job here. And okay. Yep. All of that too. Okay. Ooh, let's see. Oh, I hid that stamp set. I'm going to want to show that in a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to show you this host code too. Let's get these guys out of the way. 
All right, I think we're all organized now. Ready? Okay, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. We're gonna flip the camera down. And we're gonna do some stamping here. That looks like it's tipping a little bit. So we are gonna, okay, there. That looks a little bit better. All right, sorry if that was shaking around a bit. Okay, good. All right, so let's scoot. Where is the bottom? Okay, I'll put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here, right? I wanna make sure that the bottom of this is in view. Okay, so there we go. So here's our host code. You'll want to start using this if you order now, the QUX4DN3KN. So don't forget, order in April to get your basics like cardstock, ink refills, and blends because those prices are all going up. And then May 1st, you can start ordering out of our new annual catalog. And again, just use this host code and your name will go in the drawing to win this country flowers stamp set. Okay. You know, the other thing I want to show you guys is, so we had, I was telling you guys about this, Craft-O-Rama is our funny name for our get-together that my friend Stacy, Melissa, and uh, Jennifer, we all get together a couple times a year, and we basically like craft at each other's houses, and we always make cute treats for each other. Uh, so this is actually a beautiful notebook that our friend Melissa found somewhere, and it actually, this stamp set, or this... This imagery looks like one of our stamp sets that is retiring. So I love that. And then she made this beautiful, and aren't these, the pages are so pretty in here too, right? Can you guys see the prettiness? But she made, flip into the wrong page here. She made this beautiful bookmark. So isn't this gorgeous? Right, so this features the um, that lavender designer series paper, and I love this sentiment. Right, this knowing you brings joy to my heart. So beautiful little bookmark. So that was a fun little treat that she made for us. And then usually it's like treat boxes and things. So this one is pretty hilarious. <laughs> so this is some actually retired, but like a peach designer series paper, the funniest thing. So she's got her little woohoo. Um, Jennifer made this one for us. And then, okay, you guys check this out because they're so darn cute. So this is orange moonshine. Look, look at this. Isn't this so cute? This little old smoky moonshine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so have, it's still sealed. I haven't tried it yet, but one of these days, um, it's funny because we probably should have tried it at our little craft o -rama, but isn't that cute? Cute little box right there that she made. And then let's see. Oh, Stacy made, isn't this beautiful? I'm going to try to, okay, so you guys can see from the top, right? So um, turn it on its side. This, this beautiful little like wooden box and then she decorated it. Isn't this so beautiful? So again, with our lavender designer series paper and this cute little hello right there. And then she decorated this little bit. We'll just kind of keep flipping around and then some more paper there and more beautiful decor there. And then just so, like, look at, isn't this so cute? Um, I'm not even quite sure, I don't know. It's like a little massager, I guess. She, Stacy, when you watch, comment and let us know what this is. She told me and I just, you know, like I said, my brain is like on overload right now. So we got that little guy, we got some little um, lip gloss, and then we've got, I think, um, probably some soaps. And what is this one? Oh, little charcoal face wash there. So isn't that something that she's got the little shreddy in there too? So such cute little treats that everyone is making. There's more though, ladies, look at this one. <laughs> so this is the funniest. We just, we were totally cracking ourselves up at this. I have something for you. Like it's just a, that's kind of a funny sentiment, right? And so Melissa did this and I think actually the box, it kind of lifts off. So I'm not gonna take, because she did such a nice job with this pretty ribbon, but it lifts off. There's either soap or chocolate in there. I'm going to have to figure that out soon enough. And then Jennifer made this one too. So this is that latte suite. Again, um, this is available online only, so online exclusives. I love that ribbon, the little polka dotty ribbon. It's like kind of a burlap -y ribbon. She put some cute little like coffee treats in there, but isn't that like, whoopsie daisy, so stinking cute, right? Makes me, I don't have that paper and it makes me really want that paper. And I have this ribbon and I haven't done anything with it yet. So you'll probably be seeing that soon. This was another little one that Melissa made, this cute little, yay, it's just a tea 
teeny weeny little treat box that she embossed and put a petite little bow on. There was chocolate in here, but it's gone already. Funny how that happens, right? And then this one, gonna be breaking into this sometime soon. This is a Toblerone candy bar. Fits perfectly in here, right? She's got the little um, magnetic and then see, there it is, the little Toblerone right there, right? So, so cute with my name on it too. Oh, you know what? That's actually like, a, you can't really see that, can you? But it's like something you could put on your desk. It's like a little nameplate kind of thing. Huh, that's kind of fun, right? And then lastly, we have one more box that says, happy to call you my friend. And I think this kind of opens right here. Ooh, oh yes, that's right. This is one of those boxes that you don't even need adhesive. Ooh, I'm gonna have to milk chocolate caramel bunnies. Oh, those might not last much longer, ladies. Whoops, forgot I had those. <laughs> okay, so this, isn't this so fun? So you fold this up, it's just a bunch of scoring and then this thing just fits right inside here. I'm going to guess, I'm pretty sure Jennifer made this and she loves to watch Poodles, who is in the UK. We all love her accent too, right? So I bet you could probably find this fun, like no adhesive box on the Poodles um, website. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get to our stamping. But I had to show you guys those because I, I meant to do it the other week and then we've had so much to share that I... Try not to go over an hour. Sometimes it happens though. Okay, so projects that we are going to make today. Featuring, again, that filled with fun stamp set. Actually, I'm going to show you this one. So this was a cute card that I cased from a friend of mine, Miss Jennifer. Not the Jennifer I do Craftorama with, but another Jennifer, another good friend um, that I saw it on stage. So she made this cute card with similar. It was, um, I couldn't figure out what designer series paper she used with it, but I found this one. I actually was going to use the back side, and then I flipped it over, and I was like, oh, I like this side better. Um, so again, featuring the Filled with Fun stamp set and the dies. So here, can you see that little wood grain? I love, 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 love that. And then the cute little wheels and some fun coloring that we're gonna do. So we're not gonna actually make this card. This one I cased from, like I said, Miss Jennifer, and we made this at a Simple Beautiful Card Class this month. So let me show you what we are going to make today. Okay, got another beauty right here. So love, like the flowers right here that says, you make my heart bloom. And then I put a little, a few of those hearts on the inside. So you can see that little heart right there. I love the little handle too, so we're gonna stamp that. We're gonna do some stamping and coloring there also. So I also wanna show you guys though that this paper, this cute little cloud paper is from, this is called the Take to the Sky Designer Series Paper. So this is one of the packs of paper that you could get in the Designer Series Paper Share. So here's one side and then there's the side that I did use. And then you can see, so this one is great because you can just cut these things right out. Look, we've got some fun tags that you can cut right out right there. And then these can kind of be um, card fronts. What else do we have? So we've got some kind of mappy paper there too. Some airplanes, I love that. So kind of a masculine look to these. I love that looks kind of like linen-y almost. Love that one, right? Um, this one's just kind of geometric print. Some more airplanes and they're kind of like vintage airplanes. And then that's the one we did use. And then more airplanes and kind of looks like the C almost there, right? So beautiful paper. This is, again, paper that will be available on May 1st, Take to the Sky, and you can get a quarter of a pack. This is almost a six by 12 piece. It looks a little bit bigger than that, um, but that's the size, about the size piece of paper that you get in your paper share. Okay, let's do our stamping, ladies. I am ready to have some fun here. Okay. So we'll put that there. We are gonna scoot this out of the way and we'll bring it back in view in a little bit. Okay, get our ink and so on going. Okay. All right, so let me tell you, after I just piled all of that stuff on here now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give you some measurements. Okay. So Berry Burst cardstock is the card base that we're using. So along the 11 inch side, 
cut it at five and a half inches. Along the eight and a half inch side, score it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base, right? Then we have our piece of designer series paper that measures five and a quarter by four inches. That's gonna go right over there. We also have a piece of basic white on the inside, same size, the five and a quarter by four inches. And then I basically just have scrap pieces of lemon lime twist and basic white for our deckled rectangles. And then this is pecan pie, white, black, and more berry burst for the rest of our stamping and die cutting, okay? Um, again, as always, go to Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. All of the details, the measurements, the colors, the item codes, everything you need to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog this afternoon. Okay, so what do we want to do first? I'm kind of looking here trying to decide. I think we are going to do some stamping. Okay, so let's do, we're going to start off simple with our berry burst and let's do our little hearts because I think these hearts are so cute too. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to grab this guy right here. We're going to use this. Okay, and you guys can see what we're doing, right? Okay, so we're going to put a few hearts. I think I just love kind of like the little shadow that's created. They're just so cute, aren't they? Right? Okay, so we got that one. And then we've got a little strip here of basic white cardstock for this. You make my heart bloom. That is a little bit crooked. I'm trying to do this. So you guys, you, <laughs> you, my camera, right in the way. That one looks better, right? Okay. Yeah, so it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to see what I'm doing is basically what I'm saying. Okay, so... We are going to get rid of our Berry Burst ink. We're going to use our Black Memento ink. We're going to do our little handle. Kind of gets covered up, but I want you guys to see because I think it's pretty, just kind of fun, right? The little handle for our wagon. Right there, we're going to put that one there. And then we need this piece right here. We're actually going to go this way. Sometimes with the bigger stamps, it's almost easier to ink it up, I say, on its back. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. There we go, aren't those flowers so cute? Cutesy, cutesy, right? Okay, I think we're gonna need that black ink on our next heart, so we'll put that one over in the other tub. Okay, so, let's see, just get these guys out of the way. So let's do, we're gonna do our coloring. So you have to bear with me a little bit here. I am gonna do my pink. I had kind of thought, and maybe I won't do all of it right now, because you guys don't probably want to watch me do all of it. So probably what I'm going to do is just going to color in a little bit, and I'll come back, and I can finish this. Because also, I <laughs> I need my head like right down here to be able to see everything that I want to do. But I am coloring with the same colors that I used on and it doesn't it actually really doesn't take that long um, but that's kind of the basic idea so I used berry burst and lemon lime twist you can see that cute little flower again give me a couple minutes and I would get all of that done but I'm more comfortable with my head down there and I can't have it down there um, while we're doing the live but you get the idea right so I'm going to come back in and finish coloring these we're going to do the die cutting and put it together um, but you'll get the idea right okay so we're going to scoot this out of the way here we are going to grab our die cutting machine okay <clears throat> all right so mm -hmm. some scissors to cut that off okay so we've got those and we've got this and maybe i'll do the wheels also so we're gonna have to do a couple cranks through here Okay, so we've got our little black circles for our wheels. And then the inside of the wheels we're gonna do in berry burst. And then we've got our handle and our flowers. Okay, so we're gonna line these things up on here. And you guys know, right, if you still have the magnetic play and still hoping someday we come up with another one, but if, um, these kind of fling around on your plate you have to move your paper 
You can't fight the magnetic field, I always say. Okay, so we're gonna crank these babies through here and then we also need to die cut our deckled rectangles. So again, you can see, right, how cute that is. So finish stamping that later, okay. We have, how about this little, I don't know why, I just think this little handle is so cute. <laughs> the little handle there. And then our wheel pieces. So we're gonna put those over there too, cause we're gonna need, I think we're gonna need some of those later also. So these little pink guys are gonna go on the black. Put that right on there like that. So those are gonna be super cute too. Okay, but we still need a couple of, oh, actually, yeah, hmm. I have to do one more crank after this too, I think. Hmm. Let's see if we go that way with this one and then this one. Yeah, we have a number of dies that need to be cut here, but that's all right. Okay, so we are gonna use, okay, so these are, Brenda, hello and welcome. These are the deckled rectangle dies. So the, I guess this would be the third largest and the fourth largest. We're gonna do the smaller of the two, white, and then this one we're gonna come back and do on Lemon Lime Twist in just a little bit. But we need to, my favorite part is what we need to do right here. And I just cut that <laughs> piece to be the right width, like barely. Okay, hopefully nothing moves, right? Okay, okay, so here we go. I gotta show you. This is what I'm so excited to show you guys about is this, not so much this one, but this one right here. Oops, okay, let's see. There we go. <laughs> there, we're gonna pop these little things out. So the little wood grain, and look at that one right there. There we go. Isn't that so fun? Like, look at the little wood grain wagon. Oh my gosh, I just think, so that's gonna layer right on top of there. So stinking cute. Okay, so I'm trying to keep all my pieces there. Our deckled rectangle, and then we need one more. We're gonna crank this back through. Um, the plate, not right there. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's still not too well loved, so it's a little bit harder to see. <laughs> Normally I have the one, my, <laughs> probably haven't shown you guys, the one I use is totally cracked on each edge. So it's really easy to see because it's quite a mess there. So there's our lemon lime twist rectangle also. Okay, so let's just get all of this stuff. All right, I think we are good. Put these things back over here. Scoot this guy out of the way. And we're gonna put those rectangles away too. Okay, so. Here we go, ladies. I think we have all of our pieces to put our card together. So here, let's we're gonna bring this back into view so we can see what's going on, right? And I need some adhesive. All right, you guys can all see too. I'm trying to make sure I'm actually like uh, working in the area where you guys can see, right? Okay, so we're gonna put our, again, that cute little cloud paper. I love that um, plaid pattern too. That's gonna be good. Um, my wheels are turning on like masculine cards that we can make with this paper. Because you guys know, right? We always say we can always use more masculine cards. Okay, so we've got this one right here and we're gonna add some more adhesive. And this piece is going to just go right on here. Okay, now let's start building our little piece. We can actually, here, let's do, we're going to put some adhesive behind these little pieces for our wheels. Oops, I thought I had that in my finger, but I did not. Okay. Okay, there we go, and you guys can see. Keep worrying about that, that I'm not in view. So that one and that one. Now I need some little baby, I was using the little, um, the mini dimensionals, I guess they're called, right? So we're gonna put a couple on the top and the bottom so they just fit on here, because I don't like it when you can see them. Okay, so we're gonna put those little guys in it. I just think it looks really cute to have it um, popping up on here. 
you can kind of see it and feel it a little bit more. So we're going to put that right there, right? Okay. All right. Now we are going to flip all of these things over and we're going to put them on our little rectangle piece. That one, and I love using this little silicone mat, especially for like this piece right here, because otherwise it would go all over my um, glass mat, my Stampin' Glass mat, which I would not love. So use your little silicone mat right there. And so the biggest thing was when I put these on was that I didn't want, I guess I can move it down a little bit. Um, I didn't want the wheels hanging off the bottom of the rectangle. So I'm just gonna put those, so they're pretty close along the bottom, but not quite. And then this thing we're gonna just slip, and obviously it will look better once I get it all colored. Um, but I thought, I just don't know if you guys want to watch me coloring all that. And then my sweet little handle there, right? A little handle, and then where's my sentiment? Right here. And we are going to just kind of snip that off right there and this one right here and then that was the back side that you won't even see um, that that little guy he's a little bit crooked isn't he yeah you know what it's like I'm pulling him up a hill we're gonna scoot it a tiny bit there we go now he's probably going downhill huh <laughs> <laughs> can't win there we go I think that looks pretty straight right and then we've got our you make my heart bloom we're just gonna put that right on there and then I'm gonna use some of our baker's twine get those guys off of there too I don't think we need that one anymore right okay so we're gonna make a double bow with this so you just kind of loop it like you're working with one piece but you've got two and sometimes it's more cooperative than others but there we go yep okay that bow is gonna work right so we're gonna do that one and cut those and then I need a little mini glue dot and we can pop this on to the bottom or maybe right about there, right? I want to trim these down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so first card, right? Not quite colored all the way and colored all the way, right? But isn't that so cute? You make my heart bloom. I just love those little flowers, right? Oh, and then actually here, we can put this one with the little hearts on it also, right? This piece, I just looked over. I'm like, what's that piece doing there? I'm like, that goes on the inside of the card. There we go with those sweet little hearts. Love those, right? Okay, so there is project number one. Next, let's see, let me scoot this guy out of the way, right? Okay, let me show you the other one that we we're gonna make. So this one uses some new colors. Very excited about this one. So I think this could either be a birthday card or maybe a baby card too, right? Celebrating someone special with like cute little baby gifts there or birthday gifts, whatever you, I think it was kind of these soft pastel colors. And then this one I used, um, again, the little wood grain. I just can't stop using that, right? And more coloring and I'll show you that as well. Okay, so let's get our ink pads here. And this, okay. These I so what do we call this craft or math <laughs> is definitely happening around here craft or math yes <laughs> it's a mess ladies okay petunia pop beautiful new color right so we are going to start with a piece of petunia pop cardstock we're making a tall card this time so along the 11 inch side we're going to cut it at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we're scoring at four and a quarter inches okay so there's our tall card like that. Then we also have another piece of Petunia Pop. <clears throat> this one measures four by five and a quarter, and we're gonna emboss that with, this is the painted texture embossing folder. You can see kind of just gives a little bit of texture 
on that. And then what else do you guys need to know? Basically, the only other sizes are balmy blue. This piece is three and a half by three and a half. And so this is basic white three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Those are just going to layer on there. Then I have a number of scraps for um, our sentiment, the celebrating someone. Actually, that's probably this one right here, right? And then we've got some smoky slate, petunia pop, and black cardstock for our little wagon and our wheels. Okay, so let's actually do our stamping on these two pieces. And I think that's it, right? So we're gonna scoot these out of the way. Hello, Miss Susan. Welcome. Are you are you home and recovered from uh, the the what was it? The one day retreat. Oh my gosh, yeah. I didn't even talk about that, did I? Yeah, my brain is like fried, ladies. Uh, yeah, so we had our one day retreat last Saturday. I gotta show you guys. We'll have to do that next time. Show you the goodies that I made for everybody and the make and takes that we made. Oh my gosh, had a great day. It was beautiful. Well, actually it wasn't even, it wasn't beautiful outside, which I really like. I appreciate when it's not nice outside <laughs> um, because then I don't feel guilty that I'm not like outside, you know, this time of year, like working in my yard or something. So it was wonderful. Yes, she, good. I'm glad you feel great now. I'm glad to hear it, Miss Susan. Good stuff. Okay, so we're going to use our black memento ink on the cute little pile of presents that we're going to put in our little wheelbarrow. So this is not a wheelbarrow, is it? A wagon. A wagon, right? Okay, so how about that cute image, though? Then we're going to have, oh, no worries on being late. You can watch anytime, Miss Susan. Catch back up later at your convenience. Okay, so this one I think I am going to do the coloring because I'm kind of excited about it. Okay, we're going to start with bubble bath. Mm, that one I probably did the lighter of the two, but this one we're doing the darker. There we go. So I'm cheating because I don't have the in-color blends yet. I'll give you a little hint that on this one. So we could have used Petunia Pop if I had it, but instead we're using Bubble Bath, which I think is okay, right? So we're gonna use Bubble Bath on a few of these bows right here and here. And the kind of nice thing is like this light Bubble Bath, if you put a darker color over it, so if I kind of go outside the lines, it's really not gonna be the worst thing in the world because it'll get covered up with my darker color. <clears throat> we are gonna come back, let's use, actually I'm gonna use this end right here, right? Okay. So yeah, what I was saying was I don't have the um, in color uh, blends, that's what I'm working with are the blends right now. <laughs> like brain, you know, fart here moment. Um, so I used bubble bath and then I also used, this one is Highland Heather. Um, instead of, right, yes, oh, actually it's Fresh Freesia, um, <clears throat> because I don't have my Petunia Pop, but I think it works. The tones, you know, it's not exactly the same kind of purpley, pinky purpley color, but it's pretty close, so I think you can cheat and get away with it. I am ordering. It's on my list, though. I just didn't get a chance to get them ordered, um, so you'll see them sometime in the future. So this is what I was talking about right here, that if you go outside of the lines with your pink, your bubble bath color, when you go over it with this fresh freesia color, it'll kind of cover it right up. Now the same cannot be said if you go outside of the lines with this fresh freesia, you probably will notice it. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of color down in there. And then we need one more, so we're gonna color these, the little cake. What is this gonna be? The frosting on our cake is also gonna be fresh freesia. It's making me wanna eat sweets. I'm trying, <laughs> I thought I would be, well, I don't know why I thought I would be better with our one day retreat last weekend. We always have lots of yummy sweets and snacks. And my plan was, you know, I have to put a bathing suit on, you guys, um, <laughs> in not too long. So my hope was that, um, 
you know, I could maybe like lose a pound or two before <laughs> it's time to go on vacation. And that did not happen. So here I am talking about wanting more sweets. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this weekend <laughs> I can try to be good because we don't leave till Monday. Um, so yeah, we're going to fly out on Monday morning. We'll get to Cancun. And then I think they said it's like, oh, maybe like an hour-ish, 45 minutes to an hour to get to the resort. And then we're going to just kind of chill out and check stuff out. There is a um, kind of a welcome reception the first night on Monday night when we get there. And then there will be a general session on Tuesday morning, kind of, um, you know, just telling us, giving us some updates on stamping up stuff. Maybe we'll hear more about close to my heart kind of things. Hi, Janice. Hello and welcome. Um, so yeah, and just company updates. They'll do some stamping. We'll get to see some fun new um, products kind of in action in the stamping that they do um, at the general session. So that's always fun too. Um, I always admire the ladies that they select. There we go. To um, do the demonstrating at that um, general session that we go to. So there, isn't that cute, right? So again, um, this is Bubble Bath and Highland Heather kind of substituting maybe for Petunia Pop and Pretty in Pink, but I think it totally works, right? Once it's on there, you don't even notice that the purple maybe isn't exactly the same. Okay, so now we can do our die cutting and embossing and all the things we need to do to get this card ready to be made, right? Okay, so let's do our die cutting first. So we're going to put this right down here. So we've got this one. Where is my card? Oh, it's right here in front of my face. <laughs> okay, right there we go. Um, we're not going to be able to fit it all on here, I don't think. So let's just do a couple of these things. Okay, so we need those for the wheels. We're going to do this one here. And let's see, can I fit both of these on here? I think I can just do that. There we go. Okay, so this is the one that we need to make sure to get lined up on here. There we go. All right. So you guys, this card, I there's just something about it's just such a sweet, um, a sweet card. I love the stamp set, the dies, just so much fun. Okay, so again, those cute little wheels. We are just going to set those right over there, right? And, oh yeah, this one's going to come out a little bit better. I had to fling it last time. There we go. We're going to pop that out. Some more wood grain right there for our little wagon. Okay, and then this fun little baby. So cute, right? Okay, so let's see what else we need to... Is it just this? So I got, yeah, we need to do the sentiment, but I did that and that and that. Oh, and I need some black wheels too, don't I? So I'm like kind of showing you guys, but also like trying to get my brain <laughs> wrapped around what I still need to do. And if you could see my table, you would understand why I'm a little like, what is going on? Okay, so we're going to use, these are the Stylish Shapes dies. Still available. I think they're kind of becoming like an online exclusive item. I don't think you're going to see them in a catalog, but they are still available. So I'm very happy that those are not retiring. So that's one we use pretty darn regularly. Okay, so we're going to crank these babies through. And then we have one more piece we need to emboss, actually. So we're going to grab these little wheels off of here and... Yeah, so you see, this is why I'm just thrilled that those are not going away yet because I love that little look. Okay, so we are going to take this off of here and we're going to do our embossing. So we're going to, again, we're going to use this painted texture embossing folder with our piece of Petunia Pop cardstock. 
my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite new in color. Love that one. Okay, we're gonna just scoop this right out of the way. Okay, so you can see, and it was funny when I was making this card, I think either way can be, um, <laughs> can work. I kept like, is this the front? Is this the front? Is this, the... anyway, <laughs> you know how that happens, right? Sometimes, maybe, maybe it doesn't happen to you. I don't know. Okay, so I think if we don't have everything, I'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, so I think that is the back right here that I'm putting adhesive on. I always put a good amount of adhesive on a piece of cardstock that is embossed like that because it tends to kind of rumple up and lift up a bit. Okay, next we are going to put this piece together. So this is our basic white square. And again, don't forget, everything will be on my blog this afternoon. I need my little silicone mat though. Okay, so we're going to put some adhesive on this guy. And same thing, we're going to use some little mini dimensionals. And where did those go? There they are. Good. Okay. All right. For as crazy as this table looks, and I should knock on wood, right? So far, I've been able to find everything. So that's good because sometimes that's a struggle too. Like, where are my dimensionals? And you guys are like, um, Amy, they're literally right in front of your face. Okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Just this cute... If you don't get anything else, get these dies so, just so you can make these little wagons. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, ladies. Okay, so the wheels. And there's one more little black one right there. Okay, so we're gonna, <clears throat> I mean, wouldn't you want a wagon that was this cute with these little petunia pop wheels? I mean, seriously, right? So there's that one. And then there's that one, and we're gonna put some adhesive on the back of these. So you can see, like once you kind of get in a groove, I mean, it's a few steps, but totally worth, I cannot get that thing rolling, there we go. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna bring this thing in to view. So is that gonna work if we put that right there? There's something about I don't like I don't want these wheels like going off the bottom. So I've always got to, I got to do this part first and also make sure that it's not um, crooked, right? Like we're going uphill. And then this thing we're going to just fit right underneath there, right? Oops. Well, no wonder it kept moving. <laughs> I'm like, why won't that stay in place? Um, because there's no adhesive on it. That is helpful. Okay, so these need to kind of go behind, right? We got to see the wheels over top of things. There we go. There's that. And there, I think that's good, right? Okay, so now we can put adhesive on the back of this one. I think we're good with this guy, right? So we're going to put this right about there. We are going to add, I'm going to use our regular size dimensionals on our sentiment. And then again, we are going to make a cute little, a double bow with this twine pack. The Trio Baker's Twine three color pack is carrying over. It was in our spring mini catalog. So same idea. Again, we're going to just loop it. So you've got two kind of layers that act, you kind of work with it like you're just working with only one layer. I'm glad you like this card, Carla. So are we calling this purple now? Is it not pink? I'm surprised. <laughs> Carla is not a pink fan, if you guys don't know this. And so I'm happy that she likes it. Maybe, maybe she likes the design, but she would change the colors. Uh, but I called this purple. So I don't know, maybe I've brought her around. Maybe she thinks it's purple now, so it's okay. Uh, okay, so we're gonna just add a little blue dot there. Put that thing on there. 
And then what did I, ooh, 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 we have some new, these are our in color, these are the resin dots. So we are gonna use, these are these cute little, um, what are they? This is pretty in pink is the color, right? So we're gonna put one there and one there, and there we go. Yeah, so we've got our pretty in pink right here, peach pie. <coughs> excuse me, Shy Shamrock, Petunia Pop, and Summer Sky. So cute little resin dots that come in all of our new in colors. Okay, <coughs> good thing I'm about done because I feel like I'm going to start coughing like crazy. <laughs> okay, shoo. All right, so quick recap. <coughs> excuse me, as always, love to do that. <laughs> there you go. Make the wagon red. Okay, perfect. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm like tickle. Let me I'll get some water. Hold on. Mm. <coughs> okay, so don't forget, put an online order in through me. You're going to get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, is going to go in the drawing to win this super cute Country Flowers stamp set. And then you also get to pick from the free embellishment or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will be back here in three weeks from today. I know it's a while, um, but hang in there with me. Don't forget, you can order out of the new catalog starting on May 1st. Get your cardstock, ink refills, and stamp and blends now before April 30th because prices are going up on May 1st. Use this host code right here. Get all this free stuff from me as a thank you. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.